what's up? And we're back. Hey. We're, uh, by some nice water today. Listen to those birds chirping. Look at, listen to the, the wind blowing through the trees. Isn't it such beautiful weather for me to rant about dating culture? I think so. So, uh, before I start ranting, I should say, one, I've never had a long-term girlfriend. Uh, I've had people who have tried to date, but none of them have lasted more than three months. Uh, secondly, um, I, I could have had a girlfriend in high school, but I was too focused on uh, literally anything else, like alcohol and drugs and school and sports and uh, everything except dating someone, because I, I knew what dating came with. If you dated someone long enough, you guys had to have bedtime together. And so I didn't want bedtime. To, I didn't want to share my bedtime because my bedtime is when I decide. And my bedtime is usually pretty late. Most people are asleep by the time I'm asleep. So uh, I don't like going to bed early, obviously. So with all that being said, it should be obvious that I've never had bedtime with anyone. I've taken a few naps with a few people, but never bedtime. Um, so that's out of the way. This is now uh, the rant, right? So um, first of all, I don't think bedtime should be a requirement in a dating relationship. I think bedtime comes when you marry someone, right? Maybe. That's just me. But also, I would really like... I I would be really good at raising children. Uh, I worked with toddlers uh, for since I was like 16. I've been teaching swim lessons, and then I worked at a Montessori school. Then I realized I hate being a teacher, so the, the best shot I've got at being a, a good career is a stay-at-home father, I think, in my opinion. But that's fine. I don't care. I don't mind not being the breadwinner. Maybe that's because I live in 2020. I don't know. But, back to the whole dating culture thing and why I decided to just skip out on it. Um, I had friends who had a lot of girlfriends. And they had bedtime with each and every one of them. Right? And so, they share stories like, uh, who is the best bedtime? Who had, what was the weirdest bedtime? Which bedtime could you take back, right? Luckily for me, I don't have any of those answers because I, I haven't had a good bedtime yet, haven't had a bad bedtime, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a weird bedtime, I guess. So uh, it's pretty nice, personally, living life with no regrets. Uh, but like, also, um, I don't think people should date to, to break up with each other, you know? Like, if, if you're in high school, or like in middle school, I guess. Well, if you're in middle school, and you find a girlfriend, and you can keep her through high school, there's a good chance you're gonna go to the same college together, so there's a good chance you guys are gonna work out. But, if you're in high school, like, sophomore, junior year of high school, and you're like, wow, I, I really want a bedtime partner, maybe, maybe don't date them. You know, maybe just like tell them, hey, do you want to mess around for a few years and then just forget each other? Because if it's just a bedtime partner, when you get to college, you're going to find other bedtime partners. So, yeah. Um, but now, now that I'm close to my way out of college, uh, I, I kind of want a bedtime partner, you know? I kind of, kind of want, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh yeah, my future wife. Um, so like, how long do I need to look? How long do we need to talk? And how long before I have to buy a freaking ring? Um, probably a while. But, uh, breakup culture, right, that I was never a part of, leads to divorce culture. Because divorce is, like, so rampant in these days. Because it's so easy to divorce someone. 
you just gotta pay a lawyer a few monies and then you'll get probably half the stuff maybe more if you have a good lawyer but hear me out why would you get a lawyer involved like I think there are a few reasons for a good divorce um, and well okay there's one reason for a good divorce and that's uh, right after the wedding when you realized or not right after just after the wedding when you realize wow we probably shouldn't have gotten married uh, but there are bad reasons for divorce like oh you got fat or oh you made too much money or oh our kid sucks and I hate them uh, those aren't reasons to divorce that's just gonna make everything worse divorce just doesn't make any sense I'm sorry why would you get rid of something you worked so hard to get? Which brings me to my analogy. A, a good girlfriend is like a shiny Pokemon. Now, do you know what a shiny Pokemon is? Doesn't matter, let me explain. In the main series games, there's a 1 in 4,900... Uh, uh, 1 in 4,096 chance that the Pokemon you encounter will be a different color than every other Pokemon of that species. Pretty cool. In Pokemon Go, that rate can get down to 1 in 25 on community days. And in Pokemon Go, it's stupid easy to get a shiny Pokemon. These are all my shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Look at them. Look at them. Does it look like I'm scrolling? I don't know. I don't know if that was the right speed. But that's besides the point. What matters is, when in the main series games, uh, the two ways of getting them is finish your Pokédex and then go hunt in the wild, or finish your Pokédex and then start hatching eggs. And both ways take a lot of time, and both ways might not reward you. And so dating is like shiny hunting in a very weird way, because even though I've got a hundred and something shiny Pokémon in Pokémon Go, um, I still want more. So, I guess I don't want to, I don't want dating go. Instead, I want dating main series games, like, uh, the newlywed game. I think if you and your partner can successfully answer all the newlywed game questions, then you're golden. But, uh, it's gonna take a long time, maybe even completing your, your Pokédex long, uh, and then hunting long, but it's doable. Can you hear that wind? Duck. I think it's gone. Okay. Um, it's going to take a long time, but you should be rewarded in the end, because stock market, high risk, high reward, right? So investing all that time into the socializing phase or I'm pre-dating phase uh, is worth it in the end because you'll know you catch a shiny. You don't need to nuzlocke this where you walk in and catch the first Pokemon you see on each route. That is just, you're stuck with that. I don't know. I guess it's two just different ways of Pokemon hunting or mm, dating. but. Don't hate the player, hate the game, I guess. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna patiently wait. Uh, because I know that the first sleep time will be the best sleep time. I'm just gonna keep looking and keep trying to finish my Pokédex. Uh, it might be done already. There's no way of knowing. It is immature to compare women to digital animals. Um, I did that a lot, I think. That's that's fine. Uh, it was an analogy or a, a metaphor or just just a comparison. Please don't come at my throat. Um, I guess that's it for today's episode. Uh, Thanks for watching. Um, 
take what I say with a grain of salt because I've never been in a successful relationship, so who knows if this is even good advice. Um, I'm sorry if you're stuck inside. I'm going to try to find these nice scenic views for everyone because not everyone gets to see them or smell them. But it smells like fish right here. So um, I'm going to not make a joke about that and uh oh like and subscribe thanks for watching um see you next time on tuesday maybe we'll do weekly videos next week how many weeks am i gonna say that before i actually do it who knows should i shave soon i feel like i should shave soon I don't think quarantine's gonna be lifted anytime soon, though. So. If quarantine's not lifted by the middle of May, I'm going to shave because this is getting preposterous. Okay, see you guys next time.